think the single biggest challenge that any CEO has is change. And, and I mean change in a very large sense. People don't even like to change their style or, or brand of shampoo, let alone the way they do business. And so the, the biggest difficulty that I found as CEO is explaining the need and the requirement for change. And you think this would be simple. I have a very simple way of looking at it. If what you're doing isn't working, it's not a matter of effort, it's a matter of doing something different. So as simple as that sounds, it's tremendously difficult to implement. And communication is the obvious answer, but communication one-on-one -on -one or one-on-many, it's, it's not enough. It has to be communication and then exp not only explaining what you're trying to do, explain your vision, explain your strategy, explain how you're going to get there. And then it's a matter of credibility, proving to the employees that, that your vision is the correct vision and that these changes that, that you've identified will actually lead the company where you want it to go. So it's communication, action, credibility, communication, communication, communication. Uh, I don't think this would surprise you or anybody, but the biggest lessons were the failures. Uh, I don't think we learn much from successes. So for me personally, the, the failures that I've had have made indelible marks into my mind, but not in a bad way. I think the, the biggest lesson that I take away from it is if you're not making any mistakes, I'm pretty sure you're not doing anything. Let's assume that you're not making the same mistakes over and over, and then it becomes a real learning experience. And you can build upon those mistakes, shall we say, as well as the successes. And I think that that helps you not only in your experience how you handle problems, but how you handle the stress as well. Power and money is not the only thing in the world. And I don't know that that's a, that's a admirable goal in and of itself. What kind of person are you? That being said, everybody wants to do well in their jobs. Work hard. Do a good job. Um, I think that too often people feel entitled to promotions or benefits or bonuses because they showed up for work every day. I, I don't think that's what's required to be successful. I think if you if you have the luxury of kind of forgetting about yourself and doing a job that you're really proud of, if you can go home at the end of the day and say, did I do a good job today? Can I do better tomorrow? And then try and do better tomorrow. In the workplace, the more things you volunteer for, the more your experience grows, the more your network grows, the more your value grows. I don't think that people, young people today, should expect their companies to take care of them. I think they should craft their own careers. They should take the time to find out what are the requirements for these higher jobs that they think that they want to have. Do they have the competencies for those jobs? How can they get the competencies for those jobs? Can they get it through education? Can they get it through volunteering for other projects? I think you have to take control of your own life. And in the end, don't be afraid to make mistakes, take risks, and work as hard as you can.